A flagpole stands empty at NATO headquarters in Brussels, waiting to hold aloft the Swedish colours. The final hurdle to Sweden's membership was cleared Monday, as Hungarian lawmakers voted to ratify the bid more than 600 days after it was submitted. The Swedish-Hungarian military cooperation and Sweden's ascension to NATO will strengthen Hungary's security. Hungary was the last of NATO's 31 members to ratify Sweden's application, which Sweden submitted jointly with Finland in May 2022, three months after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Orbán had delayed the vote over Sweden's criticism of democratic backsliding in Hungary. But a visit by Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Christensen to Budapest Friday and the purchase by Hungary of four Swedish Gripen fighter jets overcame the tensions. Christensen said it was a historic day. Sweden is expected to officially join NATO in the coming weeks, breaking its decades-long policy of military non-alignment. The final piece of the puzzle falling into place, making NATO's position uh, in the Nordic Baltic region whole. Sweden gains security in a crowd and uh, uh, <coughs> supported by American nuclear deterrence. Sweden also brings valuable military capabilities to the alliance. We have a, a modern air force uh, with um, uh, Gripen planes. Uh, we have uh, excellent submarines, uh, specially adapted to the conditions in the Baltic Sea. <coughs> we have a small but uh, uh, high-tech navy uh, and we have, uh, on the ground, we have sub-Arctic capabilities. Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia are widely seen as among the most vulnerable NATO member states to a potential attack by Russia. Having Finland and Sweden in the alliance creates a powerful deterrence, say analysts. Enabling the defence of uh, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia uh, from different angles, it will be possible to do very large combined air operations looking at directions from North Finland and Northwest Western Sweden with both of those countries as, as NATO members, something which was not possible to plan uh, as little as a year ago. An accession ceremony is expected in the coming days after final formalities are completed. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said Monday that Sweden's accession will make us all stronger and safer. Russia did not immediately respond. In the past, it has said that NATO membership would make Sweden a legitimate target for Russian retaliatory measures. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.